Chapter 3 Formatting the HTML5 course by Delicious for Education the Dog. What are we going to do today? We're going to talk about formatting and especially editing text in um, paragraphs, then headers 1 until 6, making a text italic, bold, or strike through. And you can also use subscript with text and superscript. First one, editing, editing text in paragraphs. Make use of paragraphs, uh, multiple one. Um, it's not mandatory to do it, but you see it's a common practice. Then if you uh, want to create a page and you need a lot, a lot, a lot of text, and the writer didn't offer the text yet, you can just fill it with some filling text, some bogus text, and we're going to make use of Lorem Ipsum. It's a cool website. Then paragraphs. Uh, you put the paragraphs in between the paragraph text. This is the opening paragraph text, and this is the closing text, and here comes all the paragraph text. Let's go and see how that looks. In a lab, I'm going to open the template are created because if I see in here each HTML5 looks like this I'm going to call this one uh, formatting caps lock is still on formatting and I'm going to say paragraph and paragraph here comes all the text then I create a new paragraph and close it again this is the second paragraph. Now I'm going to save this file, save as, I'm going to save that as, it as an HTML file, so formatting.html. And we're going to check how it looks. Formatting, I can open this one, and here comes the text. Automatically, this is the second paragraph, so I don't have to use any breaks in the text as we see. So this is all about paragraphs. What I also can do is go to a website called Lorem Ipsum, lipsum.com, and it's a generator for uh, for text. Uh, this looks very Latin-like and will generate. I can go in here and then say I want to create some text uh, for 500 words and will generate some text of 500 words. So this is, you can read it. I don't know if you understand it. It can be understood, but it's about bullshit text. So I can paste in here a text. Next one, second paragraph. Go back to the website. Thanks for the text, Lorem Ipsum. And we're going to paste it in here. File, save. Go to the web browser. Here, go to formatting and reload the page. And that's the one. Next one, the headers. Headers 1 until 6. You can make headers with the headers tag. There are 6 sizes. It starts with the header tag h1 for header 1 and I close it again with the slash and h1 again. Then we have h2, h3, h4, h5 and h6. I'm going to check how it looks. I'm going to get rid now of my paragraphs and my lorem ipsum text so i'm gonna delete it and i'm gonna start from scratch in here um, so h1 this is header one text and close it again with the h1 go to copy the whole text and so it saves me some time. This is the header 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. This was header 2 until 6 and close it again with 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Save the page, go back to my web browser, refresh it, and this is header 6, something smaller, header, sorry, header 1, something smaller, header 2, 3, 4, five and six and actually if you put some normal text to it let's do it right away paragraph this is paragraph 
text. Close it again, save, and what I will see now is the paragraph text is bigger by default than the header text. A little bit strange, but okay. Ready for the next one, making your text look italic, bold, or strike through. We can make our text italic, use the eye tag italic and close it again, bold with the B tag closing again, and the strike through S and close it with the closing strike through tag. There's no underline anymore. There was in previous HTML also underline, but it is gone. Why? Well, by default, the browser will show a link underlined, so it was too confusing with real uh, web links. Going to check how it looks. Get rid of this one. I keep the paragraph text. And first one we created was the bold. So this is, this is bold text. And I'm going to close it again. Next one was the italic. This is the italic text and close the italic tag. Then the last one was the uh, strike through. This is strike through and close the strike through again. I looked it up in a dictionary. It's actually not a complete word. <laughs> Funny anyway, but we'll see how it looks. Save the page, renew it. This bold is text, uh, this is bold text, so it's fat, this is italic, and this was the strike through, and here you see the normal paragraph text. Then the last one, the last two, it's subscript and superscript. It's used basically for the scientist. Uh, subscript look like this, put your subscript in between the sub tags, the superscript, put it in the super tags. So that's gonna look how it looks like. Let's gonna do it anyway. I'll keep the paragraph text as well there, just for reference. And I can say in here um, h sub. Well, let's do it this way. Water is also written down as h. Now want a small two, so it's a sub. Two and then the end sub and then the O. I will make it a break now, so the new line, and then I can say uh, 10 to the power 3 is also 10 superscript 3, close the 3 because that's the normal text again, and then uh, yeah, that's. That's it, a dot. Save it and go to the web browser and renew it. And it can see word is also written down as the two because this was the subscript and the three is the superscript. And don't forget to close the superscript as well, otherwise it will be all superscript. So what did we see? We saw that we always did uh, make text in paragraphs. We showed headers h1 until h6, then the italic, i, bold, b, strike through, s, no underline anymore, and then the soup, uh, the soup, the subscript, and the superscript. This was Dion Dresches for Education Dog, and I want to thank you for staying smart.